Welcome back. We're turning a school bus into a tiny house over here. The school bus's name is Gilligan Phantom. And the theme of this next video is doors. Let's make them lock. Let's make them shut right. Let's make them draft free. Those are basically our goals. I've been taking apart this door. This is something I should have done during the demolition phase. So we're back to some of our old tools. We got we got the dreaded, uh, what's this thing called? Grinding? It's so long since I used this, I forgot what it's called. Looks like something's going on in here. Could have just been condensation. Could have been some leaking from previous times. We had actually the only fiberglass insulation in the whole bus. We're gonna clean all this up, put some new insulation in there. Hopefully rigid foam board's gonna be enough. Cover it in wood. And then we're gonna figure out a way to keep this locked when we want it to be locked. Yeah, look at this nasty stuff. It's all wet. If you have this in your bus, anywhere but maybe your ceiling, even your ceiling, you probably don't want it. Get it out of here. It doesn't provide any insulation value if it's soaking wet. Alright, so I got this door all cleaned up. I used a angle grinder with this uh, brush attachment. This thing was expensive, but it's been pretty fantastic. I also used a power drill with some brass wire wheels. Now I'm gonna use some OSFO rust converter. Then I'm gonna give it some primer. This is called OSFO. This is used to chemically convert rust into something that doesn't look like rust. All right, so my rust is all converted. So I'm gonna clean this up and then paint it. All right, so I've coated this with the rust -Oleum Rusty Metal Primer. It's for rusty metal, okay, which was down there. I also use it for clean bare metal. Hopefully that's okay. Now I'm gonna insulate this and uh, start covering it in wood. And I start to clap, cause I'm feeling good. My room is empty. Okay, so the door's all insulated. All it has is a guitar and a snare drum. Alright, so I'm halfway done. I kind of screwed myself because I don't have enough of these screws. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> now I gotta cut another piece and glue it and screw it. And I have to cut around that because I can't get it off. Some of the screws are rusted in place and I just, I just don't feel like dealing with it. Okay, so today I did a thing. I think it looks pretty cool. Alright, so we just got one more step. And then the door thing is done. I don't think I'll ever change Whenever I go to your house, man Hopefully we got a good fit. This will hide all that junk from everything except for the front. So with this thing on here, it's just a matter of making it stop. I can mount something straight to here that would stop this from going further than that. So Valve's nice enough to chisel this out for me. And now my little lock fits in there. And the cylinder makes a good connection with this. That's cool, right? Okay, so door's all done. Check this out. Can't unlock it. Can't do it. Can't do it. I can't. Oh. But, put this key in. Ugh. Turn. Now, pop. Unlocked. That's kind of nifty, right? I think that's really cool. So this key will be here all the time for emergencies. But when we leave, take it away. All right, we gotta go try it from the outside now. Hey, I wonder what's in this bus. Maybe I can steal something. What? What's happening? All right, moving on from the back door, we now have the front door rehab, and we have this entry steps, which I also neglected. So let's start getting that cleaned up. Good morning, bus converters. We out here, working. So what we have here is, I guess this stuff is all aluminum, because 
it's not rusting and it's been soaking wet for a year at least so I've, I've actually already um, use this angle grinder to brush off everything that's coming off easily. It already looks kind of cool. I like this aged patina. But I think the plan is I'm going to paint this or I'm going to not paint it. Whether or not I paint it after I paint it or don't paint it, we're going to adhere a welcome mat down here and here and maybe here and maybe here and probably and then we're going to put a piece of wood on a hinge and slap it down here and that way you have this whole surface to live your life on or keep your baby from falling down the stairs into and that's the real goal guys the real goal now is to keep your baby from hurting themselves that's all I really care about I want to tell you something as much as you're getting a glimpse into the real life of a bus converter these videos can never represent how difficult this actually is or how long it actually takes because my goal at the end of the day when I make a video is to show you guys that I did it it got done and you can do it too but as you go and do it you're gonna find that it's not like anybody's video I, unless I made like eight hour videos that showed you how boring and how monotonous so much of this is and how time consuming it is. Um, you'd never watch it, you know, I would never, I would never edit it. <laughs> so I just want you to know that this is difficult and if I make it look easy, it not, it, it almost never is. And uh, that's okay. Just go outside, do something on the bus, and get it done. All right, talk over. easy project that I somehow spent like all day on this guy comes up here and he sits up here and I guess I'm gonna be getting maybe just a couple of magnets and glue them in here to hold it up right now it doesn't stay up but that's cool now I can work in here with Nova let her run around I'll just baby proof this place and I can do stuff like DC electrical really looking forward to that is this the end of a video I don't know but if it is Thank you for watching, like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. Peace. <laughs>